this. I wanted this album to be listened to and judged, critiqued. Critiqued. Uh, listened to as a whole. Dig. Open your hearts, open your minds. Today we're going to take a look at the artwork for the 1985 Prince and the Revolution album, Around the World in a Day. Now as you just saw in the intro, telling a story with an album as a whole was important to Prince. And the story extends to the artwork. He even published a handwritten note with the opening lines from the title track in the Purple Rain tour book months before the album was released. In mid-December 1984, Prince wrote a detailed outline of what he wanted to see on the album cover artwork. Here are his handwritten notes, and as you can see, these are his requests. 1. Olive-skinned people wearing hoods and capes of purple. Some should be white, the capes. 2. Pretty little girl aged 3 or 4 on a seesaw. She should be laughing. 3. Paisley lawns with dandelions of yellow and violets. Lots of violets. 4. An old black man, aged 55, crying, sitting down on a step. 5. Blue sky background with fluffy clouds. 6. A beautiful woman, exotic looking, wearing a black cape and a raspberry beret. 7. A blonde girl, covered in lace, eating an ice cream cone. 8. A laughing woman, dressed in black, who resembles Clara Bow. This woman should be hysterically laughing. 9. An obese bearded man covered with tattoos, affectionately hugging a tiger. And there's another 9. 9. A small body of water on a pier, an old woman crying with a handkerchief over love lost. 10. A ladder leading from the water into one of the clouds in the sky. 11. Two or three people wearing black button downs playing tambourines, hair shorter on one side. 12. A naked black baby running with an American flag. 13. A small Russian fighter jet flying through the sky. Shouldn't be a real focal point. 14. Doves flying and walking. 15. A juggling clown. Two juggling balls and a globe. Prince put multiple artists to work to realize this vision. One of them being painter Jim Warren, who came up with this picture. Now as you can see, Jim Warren followed these notes exactly. If you study the painting, you'll see all images Prince requested. In late January 1985, Warren was flown to Cincinnati with his unfinished painting so he could show Prince his progress. Supposedly Prince asked him to finish it, but it's more likely that at that point in time he had already decided on other artwork. Simultaneously, artist Doug Henders had also been working on artwork. Now Doug Henders was a jack of all trades. He was working as a handyman slash carpenter on the Purple Rain Tour, he was the guy filming each concert, and he was also the artist that had designed and painted the face in the When Doves Cry video. Henders had received the very same list as Bourne, and because he had access to all band members and crew, he was on the tour after all, he decided to model the characters on the sleeve after all of them. So here are some of his Polaroid studies, starting with himself as the guy with the blue cloud suit. And here's Susanna Melvoy as the violin lady. Sheila E is the girl covered in lace eating an ice cream cone. A girl called Julia is the crying woman. Hairdresser Earl Jones, labeled as Uncle Earl, was the old man crying. Now you might notice that the girl with the violin and the guy in the blue suit are not part of the original list of characters. There are more on the final artwork and others have disappeared. It is most likely that the obese bearded man covered with tattoos had to be modeled after bodyguard Chick Hunsbury. Supposedly the woman with the cape and the beret is modeled after silent movie actress Renee Adderay. And the laughing woman that resembles Clara Bow actually is Clara Bow. Then Henders created a world for them to live in. It's all there, the ladder, the pier, the body of water, the lawns with dandelions of yellow and violet. And from here you can fill it in yourself, the people with the hoods and the capes. There they are, the girl on the seesaw. The old man crying. Supposedly Prince had been gifted a little dog around that time. So that was painted in as well. 
Here's the woman with the beret. The blonde girl has turned into a red-haired crossdresser. Now here's Clara Bow, starring as herself. The man with the tiger was removed, but in his place came the girl with the violin. A doctor-like figure with a letter in his hand. And the man in the blue cloud suit. Here's the crying woman. A man in black with a tambourine. The baby with the flag. The Russian fighter in the sky. Doves. Juggling clown. And on top of that, of course, there's the sticker with the boy and the balloon. Which wasn't actually Doc Henders design, but it fits right in. Now part of it was also used for the cover artwork of the singles from that era, such as Raspberry Beret and Pop Life. The boy with the American flag was used for the America single cover, but as you can see the image had to be repainted to fit. And in the video for Raspberry Beret the artwork was brought to life. Each band member represents a character. And that's the story of the cover artwork of the Around the World in a Day album. I hope you enjoyed this. Thanks for watching. See you next time.